Did you miss Axie Infinity? Did you miss, miss Alluvium? Did you miss Star Atlas? Guys, I have the hottest gaming trend coming up. Stay tuned, let's check it out. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and leave some comments below and share this with everybody, all your friends, because if you care about them, you want them to watch this content. And also, a lot of this stuff is time sensitive. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you get notifications of when I put out new videos. I'm gonna make an effort to make daily content here moving forward. If you're excited for that, smash the likes. Let's get into it. Guys, today we're talking about guilds. Guilds, gaming guilds, what is a guild? So basically, a guild is an exchange of value, right? So if you have a lot of money, but you don't have enough time, and I have all the time in the world, but I don't have money, we can exchange, we can make a value exchange, right? So play to earn games. You guys have probably already played to earn, something like Axie Infinity, right? And how does a guild work? So basically, since you have a lot of money, and you don't have any time, but I have time and no money, I wanna go spend my time earning us money. So you can go out and buy Axie and lend it to me essentially, or basically rent it to me or whatever. You're gonna interview me and say, Kyle, are you gonna play Axie and earn at least 150 SLP a day? And SLP is a token in Axie, which people earn when they do what's called grinding. Grinding is basically going to work in a play to earn game. Yield Guild games, boom. $8.5 billion fully diluted valuation, right? Would I come into Yield Guild Games right now? Maybe. Do I have? Do I think it has a lot of room to grow? Absolutely, absolutely. It has absolutely, I mean, there's no reason that these guilds can't have millions of players in their guild and they're collecting assets, right? So one of the things a guild does is it's going to find ways in game to earn revenue. So when you look, think about games like Star Atlas or you think about games like Alluvium, if you own land or you own starships in these games, you can earn yield. And then you have players in there actually earning yield for you. It is definitely what I think is becoming a blue chip cryptocurrency. So do you wanna buy it at $8.53? I don't know. Um, but is it something that you might wanna take profits into from your, your smaller micro, micro cap or mid cap investments? I definitely think this is gonna outperform something like Bitcoin or Ethereum in the next six months. So it is, uh, in my opinion, a, a good opportunity for you know, that slightly less risky uh, with, with more reward kind of opportunity. Now, Yield Guild Games was massive. All the huge VCs came in and, and they actually have about 7,000 plus members in their guild right now, or scholars, I should say, and there's a, a huge line of people, mostly from poorer countries, that are waiting to get scholarships because they don't have the minimum $1,200 it takes to create an Axie team, which is the barrier to entry to play Axie and start grinding and earning SLP. So, a guild is basically an, a bunch of players who are, who are part of a guild, who are playing one game, and eventually this will be super powerful because Yield Guild Games has been around for a few months, 7,000 scholars already. That's gonna grow to 100,000 scholars, I don't know, maybe halfway through next year. They're also starting sub, sub DAOs or sub guilds all over the world. So, they're, and this all builds into one token economy. But more importantly, this is revenue generating. So the way that Yield Guild Games does it is if I'm out there grinding for you, I'm gonna keep 70% of the revenue that I earn, 30% goes back to the guild, some of that goes to the scholarship manager who actually onboarded me and the rest goes to the guild DAO itself. All right, now let's look at some of the, the things going on in the market. Well, the market, as you can see, is, is, is not looking so good, but uh, I have full faith and confidence that we're nowhere near any type of bear market. Uh, I, am, I have the opposite theory of most technical analysts and charters, people drawing lines on screens. Uh, most of them say that we're mimicking 2017 and we're gonna maybe see a blow off top at the end of December and then go into a bear market. I, I definitely don't agree with this. If you're interested in me going in more depth about my theory on how market cycles will work, make sure that you leave a comment below. Let me know, Kyle, I'm curious. What do you think of the mar market cycles? Are we gonna have shorter cycles, longer cycles? Are we looking at a blow off top? Where are we going? Leave a comment. I don't have time in this video to tell you about it, but I would love to tell you more about it. If you're interested, let me know. Okay, guys, now let's look at some of these, uh, some of these other guilds on CoinGecko here. So let's talk about Merit Circle. Merit Circle recently raised $105 million. That's a huge war chest, but you're talking about things like in-game assets that are worth a lot, right? So we have games like Star Atlas where a starship might cost a million dollars, but that million dollars might return you $5 million over the course of a year just by using it in-game. Uh, we also have things like Big Time. You've heard other people talking about Big Time, uh, and I'm very excited. We actually have land in Big Time as well. 
Uh, big time is from the, the founder of Decentraland, Ari, as well as a bunch, a bunch of guys from other AAA games like Fortnite, things like that. So, uh, so this land, you could actually generate yield by having your, your scholars and, uh, play on that and, and, and mine and grind and, and earn some revenue. Um, so Merit Circle, uh, also $8.4 billion fully diluted valuation. Also, I think this is a bit too high at this point. I would come into it. So what would I do? I would look for better opportunities to come into guilds because there's no reason with good token economics, other guilds can't get to this level and they absolutely will. So let's look at Good Games Guild. Good Games Guild has just been on a tear lately, right? We, uh, we, we, launched, we, we actually invested into them, launched them on, on paid ignition. And uh, let's look at this chart, right? So we got... Uh, ba, ba, ba. Seven days. Look, you got a, you got a, you got a lot of excitement coming into guilds, and you got a bit of a cool off. Uh, might be a good entry point. What is the? Let's see how we're looking on. Uh, we don't know the the market cap at the moment, but it's a one billion dollar fully diluted. And these emission schedules are basically inflation comes over years. So I think that Good Games Guild is actually quite. Uh, so here we have uh, the market cap. It's only twelve million dollars, guys. Uh, Yield Guild Games, $750 million. Do I think Good Games Guild has a ton of room to grow? Yes, absolutely. For me, personally, if I were to buy one of these, um, I would definitely go into Good Games Guild versus something like YGG. Um, I know the team, I know they're dedicated, I know they're deep in the weeds to, uh, to, to building out this guild correctly. Uh, let's look at some other projects that are upcoming, right? So Unix, uh, Unix has 185,000 members in their Discord. They have a line around every city block for blocks and days and days of people who want to onboard into their guild. The team is incredible. They've got a good model and they're launching tonight in like 10 hours on Copper, the same platform that Merit Circle launched on. So it's actually a, a Dutch auction where the price starts quite high and then goes lower, lower, lower. Uh, I would keep an eye on that uh, and see what happens. Let's look at Merit Circle for a second and see how that performed after doing a Dutch auction. So let's see, 30 days. Uh, so this actually just pumped, right? So it, it came on the market uh, and just is continuing to go up. Uh, but you have a good opportunity now, you know Unix is coming online and I believe three days, the auction will go for three, three days and then I'll start trading. I'm a, I'm a big fan of Unix gaming. We also invested into this. Uh, I, I also know the team. I'm an advisor for them, full disclosure. Um, but I'm doing it because I believe in the project. Rainmaker Games, another one launching very, very soon. Uh, they don't, still don't have a huge following yet. They still haven't really worked on their marketing. Uh, it's still early for this project, but something to work on. Also guys, if you want, would like to see another video as well on how to go full-time crypto and how to maybe get possible, uh, how to get opportunities to invest in a project like Rainmaker Games or like Unix or whatever with, with uh, before they go to market at a private presale, let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to show you a video on how to go crypto full time and how to get access to private sales. I can make a video on that as well. Please let me know in the comments if you'd like to understand how that goes. Avocado Guild. Avocado is actually the second largest guild in the world. As far as I know, they have over 2,500 scholars in their, in their community. Uh, this is launching quite soon. Uh, they, they actually reached out to me for some help with some marketing, some project awareness. So it's a great project. I met the founder. I really like him a lot. Uh, they're launching quite soon too. I think mid-December if I remember, but massive guild. And uh, we'll just have to keep an eye on this and see how it performs, what their go-to-market strategy is and how they decide to do a public sale because we don't know that information yet. So I just wanna show you how massive Guildfy is and just how huge, just to give you an idea of how big the 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 guild market is look at this list of investors these are all huge tier ones from the crypto space vcs you got defiance capital hashed pantera coinbase ventures alameda research and Amoka brands dapper and these are the guys and then play coin 98 and svc and sorry if i'm speaking fast it's just exciting and i actually have to take another call but i wanted to squeeze this in because they want to do daily content so if i'm speaking too fast make sure you play the video on 0.75 or 0.5 speed because i really need to squeeze this in and i really need to take another call in just a second here but i wanted to tell you about guilds please let me know in the questions below if you have uh, any questions about guilds, if you, if you're with, you know, or, or the things I asked you to, to leave me comments about before, 
I really believe that there's so much room for this. Guilds are not competitive because there's two billion people on this planet who are underserved. They don't have a job. They don't have a way to source revenue or income. And play to earn gaming is bringing an opportunity to these people. And these guilds are the economic models or the entrepreneurs behind the people who set up these guilds. Give those people who don't have $1,200 to spend for a barrier to entry an opportunity to go start earning revenue. And in a lot of countries like Venezuela, playing something like Axie Infinity, someone, a scholar can earn three or four times their annual salaries in one month of playing this game. That's how powerful this is. All right, guys, I got to go. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. I'm going to try to do daily videos. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Bye-bye.